And what's the gag? I don't get it. I wonder how you like being the wife of a witch hazel tycoon, Kip. Oh, I suppose I'll get used to it in time. Sure. You'll be very helpful to Bob, too. You know, singing those radio commercials you'll write. Mason's witch hazel is a must in your homes. For freckles and scratches and for your bruised bones. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot something. You forgot to mind your own business. I didn't do nothing, boss. I just gave the folks a few interesting facts. That's no concern of yours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The buffet is ready. So, if you'll excuse me, I've got to help certain people with that package. Help what people with what? Oh, yeah, yes, go on. It's not Anthony's fault, Bob. I was the one who was asking... I suppose all... that makes it quite ethical. After what you did to those sisters, <laughs> you're hardly in the position to talk about ethics. Would any one of you have done any different if you were in my place? Progress, Kip, progress. She's still living in a cocoon. Doesn't realize the merits of a bottling plant over at Children's Hospital. Now, I... Uh... Very funny. You. If you ask me, you've got a very short memory. I seem to recall the city wanting to build a playground in your neighborhood. And the moment you heard about it, you went around ringing doorbells trying to get people to sign a petition against it. Yeah, but... Well, that was different. Different, because it happened to you. It is rather a bit different, Bob. One must consider the humanitarian aspect, mustn't one? One must, and I have. Look, supposing you'd worked all your life hoping someday to be able to build a place in the country where you could work and live the way you want to. Finally, you get a break. And you get some money, and you build your house. You sink a lot of dough into it. And along comes somebody who wants to build a hospital right in your front yard. Would you stand for it? Would anybody stand for it? I know how you feel, Bob, but these sisters are doing a worthy thing. Sure, I know it's a worthy thing. I'm all for it. I'm for a lot of worthy things. Orphan asylums, insane asylums, old people's homes, sanitariums. But I'm just like everybody else. I don't want them right under my nose, and I'm honest enough to say so. Pour another round of drinks, kid. I'm going out to cool off. Come on, Arson. You've come to say goodbye to us. It's kind of you, monsieur. When are you leaving, sisters? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Well, isn't there something I can do, something you need? Uh, the station wagon or the jeep? No, oh, thank you. But you've already loaned us Anthony to help us with our pack. Oh, well, that's nothing. And now you've saved us a walk. We were coming over to your house to give you this. What? Well, it's the money that you gave us. We won't be needing it now, and so it's only right that you should have it back. But, sister, I, I don't want it back. Can't you use it for something uh, to help pay your expenses home? Oh, that's very kind of you, of course, but that's all taken care of by our mother house in Villers. Villers? Yes. In Normandy? Uh, yes, do you know it? Yes, I, I know it. Oh, how nice. Sisters, I'd like to do something. Isn't there... Isn't there anything? Well, you could say a prayer for us. Well, I'm afraid prayers aren't much in my line. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. But uh, if it'll please you. Oh, it will. And it'll please God so much. <laughs> 